Hello everybody. I'm in the process of making a demo for an upcoming um, SciPy keynote that one of my colleagues is giving, and I've got a problem. My um, supercomputing application that I want to demonstrate to people is not very intuitive unless you kind of really know what you're looking at. This here is showing the logs of a bunch of different simulations that occur at any time, and this is very visually unappealing, to say the least. So what we wanted to do is create a dashboard that shows off what the simulation is doing while we run it so that people can get an idea about kind of what is happening behind the scenes so that perhaps they could understand if the code will work for them or not. The application that we're doing is a, a machine learning guided high throughput simulation. What we're doing is I'm training a machine learning model so that I can find molecules with higher ionization energy property over time. And you can see in this run trace, I am finding better molecules over time. I can also look at another trace to see that in fact, my machine is switching nodes between different tasks over time to kind of properly balance the machine learning and simulation components. But both of these are static so otherwise, people are stuck with watching um, this log tick through during a simulation. So what I've done over the past couple hours is build a panel using IPython widgets that will show what's happening in the simulation as things go on. So let's dive into that. So the uh, code base that we're going to show here is using a code that I develop out of Argon called Colmena. We're not going to go into too many of the details of what it's uh, how it works because I want to focus in this tutorial on how we've created a dashboard for it. So suffice it to say, in short, what we do is we set up this simulation agent and what it's going to do is over time run some machine learning or simulation tasks over time. Now the first thing that I did to kind of demonstrate what's happening behind the scenes, which I can do for a very simple type of simulator is show how many uh, successful simulations have occurred, how many have started as a function of time. And this one's pretty easy. What I use is a tool called TQDM, one of my favorite machine learning, or one of my favorite Python libraries. And I create these progress bars that over the course of the application, I update. And what that gives me here very nicely is at least a ticker that shows that things are happening and you can see some behavior like a new simulation is started only after another one completes. So we can tell that things are working as desired. But I wanted something a bit more complicated uh, and kind of interactive for folks that are watching my more complicated um, class, which is one that overlaps the uh, machine learning and simulation methods together. That one is called the um, uh, batch thinker. And suffice to say, I'm gonna kind of show, uh, talk a little bit while this is running here. What I'm doing is I'm creating an interactive panel using IPython widgets. And what's gonna happen in these first two statements is I create a canvas that I'm going to update while this code is running. I first create the canvas by calling widgets.output, and then I call display to tell uh, Jupyter that I want this display canvas to be rendered right next to this cell. And I'll send you the um, uh, wonderful Jupyter Notebook example that's prepared uh, to explain this particular library. So once I've got this um, output display, you can see here that I pass it to my control class called the thinker um, as an option. That means what this thinker is gonna be able to do is make changes to this output canvas while it is running so that we can see what's happening uh, while the library is cooking. Hopefully now I've stalled for enough time. Looks like we've only got maybe 10 or 15 seconds until the other one finishes. So we're gonna go through and show you what happens. The core method here is I've added in a function to this code that is running, which is responsible for updating that dashboard. It's a multi-threaded application, so I bury it behind a lock. And what you're gonna see here is I create a bunch of different commands uh, that I'm gonna to use to fill in this monitor script. This monitor script is written in HTML, or sorry, this monitor dashboard is written in HTML. And you'll note that I've got these 
um, placeholders, which are going to hold some content that we show later. At this point, it looks like I hopefully, yep, I've got my canvas running. You can see here that I've got this panel, which is similar to what you see in this HTML template, but populated with what's actually going on in the simulation. And you can see we see a couple different things. My simulator, uh, the number of tasks running for a particular um, agent it, or at a particular task is occurring here. You can see that it updates periodically over time. And how this is happening is that as these different agents click, I'm calling update dashboard, which goes through, creates those um, things that it's going to use to modify the template. I modify that template to create HTML, then I append it to that dashboard. This here clears the dashboard. This adds my new HTML on it so that every time I call the function, this dashboard gets updated. And just to remind you, that dashboard is something I created using the IPython widgets and I call the display function to make it uh, appear in this particular folder. I won't show you the rest of it. It's gonna take, it's looking like another minute to complete. But what you can see here in my dashboard is I'm keeping track of how many simulations are running at a given time, how many inferences, inference tasks are running, and a kind of walking tally of which molecules I've evaluated and which one has been the best so far. This um, you may recognize from a previous tutorial as an RD kit mo uh, molecule. All I'm doing is I'm rendering a molecule to RD kit using its built-in molecule to SVG code. And that, uh, as another side note, I mask behind a uh, LRU cache using the Python funk tools so that if I call this with a molecule that I've already called it before, it returns the previously generated result rather than spending time computing it again. So that's everything. Uh, I've shown you how to create this dashboard so that you can have more interesting uh, demos than having people watch your runtime log as it ticks through. Have a nice day.